Aaron here. Today we're going to be installing an OEM Ford trailer brake controller on 2015 and up F-150s. Now these trailer brake controllers only come standard with the max tow option. So if you do have the tow package and you're looking for a clean, easy to install trailer brake controller, go ahead and follow the link in the description for the correct part for your application. Now unfortunately it's not just as easy as plugging it in and everything works. We're going to have to make some changes using Ford Foreskin. Ford Foreskin is a software we can go in and we can um, you know, connect to the BCM and all the different control modules of the vehicle and we're actually going to enable the PCM to recognize that we now have a trailer brake controller option. It's fairly simple once you know what you're doing so we're going to go ahead and do that at the later part of the video. Let's go over the tools we're going to need to get the job done. So to install this brake controller all we're going to need is a 7mm socket, 8mm socket, quarter inch ratchet, and a trim removal tool. It's a pretty handy tool that's not going to scratch the plastic. If you don't have this you could probably use a flat blade screwdriver. Just be careful not to damage anything. Now this particular truck doesn't have a center console with the shifter, it actually has the uh, steering column shift right here. So if you do have the shifter, these procedures are pretty much going to be the same besides you're going to be removing the cup holder section along with this plastic trim piece right here. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is remove the 7mm bolt that's located right here and we're going to have to remove this panel. Next thing we're going to remove and drop down this piece, it simply just snaps down. And then we're going to remove four 8mm bolts that holds up this little metal bracket right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our hand and go with the back of this little tray, kind of lift it up, and when we lift it up, we're just going to take our trim removal tool and slide it underneath here, and then just simply pry up, and it'll kind of pop up a couple inches. That's all we're going to need to do uh, to expose two 7mm bolts. Let's go ahead and remove those. Once those are removed, we can go ahead and pull up on the back of our uh, little radio trim piece. And pull away. Do the same with the bottom. And we can just kind of swing it out of the way. And once all that's out of the way, we can go ahead and start at the top and just simply pry back. And that whole piece will come off. Now what we will need to disconnect our uh, four-wheel drive switch if you have one just make sure the ignition is not on when you do that or else you'll get some fault codes and once that's all removed before we can go ahead and remove our little cubby we're going to go back to this little connector and the connector for our trailer brake controller is in the back of this housing just in a dummy plug so go ahead and unplug it now we can take um, our little cubby out and install our new trailer brake controller. Make sure it's nice and flush. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And now using reverse procedures, let's go ahead and put everything back together. Now that we have our trailer brake controller installed, we need to go ahead and have the computer and the instrument cluster recognize it uh, using Ford Forescan. ELM327, uh, you'll need one of these cables. I'll go ahead and post a link in the description. Basically, this is just going to the uh, OBD2 port and connecting to your USB um, port on the side of your laptop. And besides this cable, uh, you'll go ahead and download the Ford Forescan software. I'll include a link in the description for some information how to do that. It's fairly simple. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, take your truck to the dealer. They can go ahead and enable the settings in your PCM. So what we're going to start off by doing is having Ford Forescan read the entire vehicle and all the control modules. Just going to ask a couple questions. 
vehicle has sync two. Once it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to save the profile of the vehicle. It's very important that you do this because if you write any code or you make any changes to the vehicle that you don't like, you can always have your stock file available uh, in case you forget what you've changed. So we're going to go ahead and save yes. Then we're going to go ahead and come right over to uh, this little chip right here. And this is going to give us access to all the modules here that we can modify. What we're going to go ahead and do is go to IPC configure uh, model configuration. We're not going to go into the as-built format. Um, that's where we're going to you know write codes, change things with the daytime running lights and interior lights. Um, go ahead and select the control configuration, and then we're going to hit play. And it's going to read the configuration. Uh, if your battery is a little low, it's going to ask you if you want to continue. I just have the blower motor on, so that's why that is like that. Now, one thing that is also important to note that 2015 and 16, there's only one option that we need to go in and change, and that is um, trailer brake controller gain setting. And as you can see, of course, since we don't have the max tow, it's disabled. We're going to double click on that, and it's going to ask us if we want to enable it. Of course we do. And now it is enabled. Now all we have to do is write to the vehicle. If you have a 2016 and actually 2017 and newer, there's two options you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go to the gain setting and enable it. And then right above it, I believe, there's trailer brake control module. That will be disabled, and you'll have to enable that as well. So let's go ahead and write this to the vehicle. It's going to ask us about the changes and if we want to go with it and we do and when it's done it's gonna ask us to turn the ignition off and turn it back on okay we're gonna push okay and that should be it now it's time to go ahead and test our trailer brake controller and as you can see we have gainability so we can go ahead and now control the power to the trailer brakes and we have full function over them. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. If it has, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave something in the comment section. Again, go ahead and look at the links in the description for the part and for the Ford Forescan cable and software.